everyone. Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Niku Dango no Miso Butter Soup. This is like westernized meatball miso soup. You may think meatball for miso soup, but trust me, it's really good. At the end of the video, I will show you how I build a menu with the soup. So stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. Do you know what you need to make four servings? 300 grams of your favorite vegetables. Today, I'm using garlic chive and napa cabbage, but you can use any vegetables you like. 400 grams of ground pork, some ginger, one egg, one tablespoon of potato starch or corn starch, five tablespoons of miso paste, two teaspoons of hondashi, instant Japanese soup stock, one to two tablespoons of butter, 50 grams of glass noodle, this is optional, some salt and pepper, and black pepper. As always, I'm doing all the cutting first, so garlic chive. Cut the bottom off just a little bit, into half, put them together, then into one inch or so. Chive cooks really quick, so I'm going to add it at the end. So let's put it in a small bowl and set aside. with the skin on, so I washed it really well. Let's mince it. Let's put it in the bowl of ground pork. Hondashi. And five cups of water into the pot. Four. And five. Turn the heat on and just cook it until Nappa cabbage is well cooked. In the meantime, let's make the meatballs. So I have ground pork and minced ginger in the bowl here. Some salt and pepper, about half teaspoon. Potato starch. One egg. And knead this well.
Looks like Nampa cabbage is well cooked. Let's add glass noodles. And the meatballs using two spoons. Okay, all in. Let's cook it for 7-8 minutes until the meatballs are cooked through. Remove the scum as you cook. Looks like meatballs are well cooked. So let's add the miso paste using small strainer. Put the miso into the strainer, dunk it and push it out. All dissolved. By using this kind of strainer, you don't have to worry about having chunk of miso in your soup bowl. Let's add chai and butter. Give it a stir. the heat and it's done. Let's serve in the soup bowl. Some black pepper if you like. And Niku Dango no Miso Butter Soup is ready to go. Time for the tasting.
This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one or two side dishes. Niku dango no miso bata soup goes here. The soup contains enough protein and vegetables. So let's pass the main and one of the side dishes. Some sort of pickles, either store bought or homemade for the other one. You can have plain rice here, but I think I want to go for onigiri. I hope you enjoy the meal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything.